Today we're going to watch some of the greatest hits of the Muslims. We're going to find out what an ingenious culture we're dealing with. People who are just so fair and equal and so loving and kind. Let's check it out. Let's check out the classics. Yes. Because under Sharia, the procedure is that there are certain cases where the evidence of women are acceptable. There are certain areas where the evidence of male or uh, female are not admissible. What happens if a woman has been raped? <laughs> the then rape, what do you do? The rape is that. If she was raped, if she was raped by somebody, if she cannot bring the foreign language to us, the person that accused should be what? Discharge if there is no reliable for for reliable witnesses. But Jajisa, how can you have a reliable yeah, witness in rape? Rape, rape? rape happens rape. by a, how? By how? Give me an example. Well, rape normally happens when the woman is unaware. She's forced. It's okay. usually done discreetly because the man is in no fit she state of mind. She has to shout. If, she, is that, if look, she's shouting look. and she's in and, and that is nobody. That is nobody. Yes, that what? is nobody. The law here is that immediately after he, you know, that the accused the suspect cannot wait. If you run away, where the people gather her and they meet her with you are that uh, shouting, she will be exempted from punishment. Say that again, if she Wait. is... She will be exempted from punishment. Would you are that uh, shouting, she will be exempted from punishment. Say that again, if she Wait. is... She will be exempted from punishment. He did not commit offices an innocent person. I find the notion that a rape victim can be punished for what they call adultery to be quite extraordinary. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but that sounds damn fair to me. All the rape victim has to do is make sure that she's got a few guys laying around. That way they can witness for her. Or she could always learn to scream while she's having her fucking face punched in by a Muslim rapist. Who's that bench on you? Allah! 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 So we can invade their country and take their wives and war pussy. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Goodness, that Muslim actually talked about invading countries and taking people's wives as booty. What is he living in Old Testament times or just the Quran? You can never tell with these people because they still live in the fucking dark ages. Let's watch some more classics by those awesome Religion of Peace followers. Mmm. This isn't seeming like greatest classic hits at all. Murder, killing, butchering, torturing. 
Muslims in our modern day talking about invading countries, using our wives as sex toys. Surely there's got to be some kind of peaceful resolution or some kind of kind or gentle thing that Muslims have done. Let's take a look at Muhammad. Ooh, yeah. you're having a difficulty reading all that chicken scratch um, let me put it to you this way it uh, tells you in plain English during those parts of chicken scratch that Muhammad liked to stick his tongue down the mouth holes of little boys and little girls he also liked to do that to his own child he also liked to do that to the little girl that he married and on top of that he liked to do that to his own damn cousins the guy was clearly a sucker for the children if you know what i mean this is to be a warning to all the western world that the quran is nothing but a violent religion yeah sure so what if a muslim says it's peaceful they're wrong i'm going to prove it to you right now this is an original copy of the Quran. It's in Arabic, and it's been translated into English, so I'd like to read you a few verses from this so-called holy book. Surah chapter 4, verse 89. But if they turn back, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them, and take not from among them a friend or a helper. Okay, they're talking about infidels, so they're supposed to kill the infidel. Here's another one. O you who believe, do not take the Jews and Christians for friends. They are friends of each other, and whoever amongst you takes them for a friend, then surely he is one of them. Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. That was Surah chapter 5, verse 51. 